Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about how to do actuarial math. Specifically, we will do a problem on Venn diagram. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Okay. An insurance agent offers his clients auto insurance, which I call A, homeowner's insurance, which is H, and renter's insurance R. The purchase of homeowner's insurance and the purchase of renter's insurance are actually mutually exclusive. That means they do not happen at the same time. The The profile of the agent's clients are as follows, okay? So we have 17% uh, of have none of the three products mentioned above. 60% have auto insurance, 64%. Twice as many clients have homeowner's insurance as have renter's insurance. And then 35% of the clients have two of these products. 11% of the clients have owner's insurance, but not auto insurance, okay? So what do we need to find out? Uh, calculate the percentage of clients that have both renters and auto insurance, okay? Renters and auto insurance. So given the probability of not home, not auto, not motor, is the opposite or the complement, okay? of the other event, which is having a home or auto or renter. So probability of not home, not auto, not renter is given as 0.17. So probability of home or auto or renter is one minus 0 0.17 is 0 0.83, okay? Now it is also given probability of auto is 0 0.64 and probability of home insurance, homeowner's insurance is two times probability of renter's insurance. That information is given. Uh, let X2 where be the portion where auto and homeowners meet. That is the intersection of homeowners and auto. And let X1 be the intersection of auto and renter. Now, probability of A is 0.64 auto owners. Probability of home is two times probability of renters. And probability of home, but not auto is 0.11 and probability of two kinds of insurance, that is probability of X1 plus X2 is 0.35. These are given information. From the given information, if we do 0.64 minus X1 minus X2 plus homeowner's insurance plus renter's insurance is equal to 0.83. Now 0 0.64 and X1 and X2 is equal to 0 0.35. So X 0 0.64 minus 0 0.35 plus homeowners plus renter equal to 0.83. So it is 0 0.24, 0 0.29. Okay, 0 0.29 comes from 0 0.64 minus 0 0.3. 0 0.29 plus H plus R equal to 0.83. Hence H plus R is equal to 0.83 minus 0 0.29 is 0 0.54. Now, homeowner's insurance is given as two times renter. So twice renter plus renter is 0.54. That means 3R equal to 0.54. So renters is equal to 0.54 by 3 is 0.18. Okay. Now, uh, homeowner's insurance will be twice that amount is 0.36. Okay. Now, X2 portion is equal to uh, homeowners minus homeowners minus point uh, let's see okay homeowners minus point one one okay because it is given point one one is the clients of owners insurance but not auto insurance owners insurance but not homeowners insurance but not auto insurance so 
x2 is equal to homeowners minus 0.11. Now we have solved for homeowners is 0.36. So x2 is 0.3. Uh, actually, it's uh, <clears throat> 0.36 minus 0 0.10 should have been 0.26. And uh, x1, now we know x1 plus x2 is 0.35. So, so uh, actually it's 0.25. So x2 is homeowners minus 0.11. Homeowners is 0.36 minus 0.11 is 0.25. Hence x1, because x1 plus x2 is 0.35. So x1, which is equal to the intersection of auto and renters, auto and renters, okay, is equal to 0.35 minus x2, which is um, 0.25, we get x1 equal to 0.1. Hence, the percentage of clients that have both renters and auto, that is the portion x1, is 10% of 0.1. So that's what we are required to find out, calculate the percentage of clients that have both uh, renters and auto, which is equal to 0.1 or 10%. So I'll stop here today. Uh, if you have any question, write me a comment. I'm coming back next time with another actuarial math problem. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And we transform life by math coaching. If you have any question, again, send me an email or contact me by WhatsApp, whatever is good for you. I'll provide my WhatsApp number too. So see you next time. Take care.